Harold, thanks for joining us, for watching us on YouTube. Uh, today we have a regular GSL coffee service. Um, it's just one week left before the student application deadline. Today we are running a, a common agenda, so we will discuss news, uh, open action items, and if there are uh, any other updates, uh, let's also discuss them. And I believe that the most of time today will be spent on Q&A, uh, so that we can answer questions by students. And uh, yeah, I guess that's the plan. Anything else to discuss today except uh, what we already have on the list? No. Okay, so let's proceed with news. Um, so yeah, the first uh, thing, I'm not sure whether students have already received the notification. Uh, there were some changes in JSOC timeline. So basically the selection phase uh, will be expanded. Uh, same for community bonding. And uh, now after the changes, um, coding period will officially start on June 1st. So basically it will start uh, two weeks later than it uh, will be before. So these are good news. Bad news is that uh, application deadline is still March 31st. So in one week. So nothing really changes in the current phase. And it uh, implies some obstacles. So, for example, for us, as we discussed in the mailing list, uh, we try to do the most of the reviews during the student application phase so that we can provide feedback, we can uh, get more insights about uh, students. And, um, and yeah, for us, we still have one week as mentors to do so. So, my ask to for everyone, for mentors, for students, if you're interested, please submit your project uh, proposal drafts earlier. For mentors, please dedicate some time to reviews by them. I know that um, with all these lockdowns, um, the situation is not uh, really manageable. Sometimes people don't have time, but all of us uh, do the best effort. So if you have any opportunity to submit your proposals earlier, it would definitely help. And yeah, after that, uh, specifically for mentors, we will have uh, three weeks to review the proposals. To be honest, I have no idea what exactly we will be doing because uh, again, we review the proposals uh, now, but uh, still, we have, yeah, still we have a bit more time for this phase so probably we'll spend more time on uh, project mapping and if we like mentors in some projects we will spend these uh, three weeks to find them and again we received a message from google that we should ensure that uh, uh, all mentor teams uh, are more strong than it used to be before so because of coronavirus potential changes so the recommendation from google is to go with three mentors um, yeah. project two or three uh, so yeah this is something we will uh, be trying to implement uh, for all projects we accept so i guess these three weeks will be spent well and yeah i guess this is all of these timeline changes any comments uh, before we move on okay. yeah, probably <laughs> Okay. Yeah, he also wanted to say hi. But yeah, now he's busy destroying other stuff in my apartments. Okay, so the next update we had last week instead of common office hours, we actually organized a Jenkins online meetup in order to uh, summarize the application process and to talk about our expectations uh, to go through the application process. So if you just join GSOC and if you want to get more insights how to start, I believe it would be uh, the starting point for you. And we already added a reference to this recording to some of our materials. I believe you will add it to the student application guide soon. So please use it as an additional source of information. Okay. Any other news we missed? Any other updates? I guess not. So business as usual. Uh, for open action items, uh, we are cleaning up our queue. So I uh, updated automatic specification generator proposal. I now it's officially in the accepted state. 
to whomever is interested. There are some quick start guidelines, but basically they summarize what we discussed at uh, the dedicated project meeting. Um, then we had online meetups. Mark published a recording for the previous meeting, which didn't uh, go exactly right because of um, uh, because of the stuff. So what we have uh, left is basically promotion of JSOC. So again, if anyone is interested uh, to get more students in their proposals, please uh, use social media. Uh, to promote the projects because it's uh, the way how we uh, raise visibility of our organization. Uh, this year we have around 200 organizations participating, so it's a big number and uh, you should use any opportunity to be more discoverable. And speaking of that, uh, both Jenkins and Jenkins X I yet to publish a blog post uh, because yeah, we delayed it a bit due to the uncertainty and now it's definitely time to do that. But for Jenkins, uh, if you go to Jenkins IO website, it's one of the previous section items. We now have a Jumbotron. So whomever visits the site, uh, they will basically see this page after five seconds. So at least something is highlighted. Okay. And I guess that's it. So. Should we uh, press it with questions or does anyone have additional topics to discuss? Students, mentors, anybody? So Oleg, actually from me, any, any recommendations on ways to encourage further mentors? I've, one of the Git plugin projects has only two mentors. The other one has three potential mentors, but I'm feeling like you're right, two may not be enough. And so if two is not enough, is it just a matter of socializing with folks to suggest, hey, come come join or looking at previous contributors, any other ideas? Yeah, that's a common approach. So you can take, uh, for example, if you create uh, a project based on whatever Jira issue or user request, you can invite uh, these users to be stakeholders or potentially mentors in the project. Uh, if you know active contributors who might be interested, also invite them, it wouldn't hurt. And yeah, that's uh, how we improve the situation. Uh, later, um, yeah, after the application deadline, we will still have three weeks uh, to form uh, mentor teams because we will be requesting project slots uh, after we already have a draft of uh, teams we want to have. So uh, these three weeks will be spent to um, get our proposals mapped, to filter them and also to find mentors. And if there is a need to have more mentors for Git plugins, I think we will be also able to help. But yeah, we do not promise magic there. So we do best effort like everybody else. So yeah, it's sometimes it's difficult to find mentors, but for Git plugin, I'm confident that we can have some. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Any other questions? Okay, if there is no question, so let's uh, approach from a different side. Uh, so I believe that everybody on the call uh, submitted uh, their proposal drafts. Uh, either any project where you need feedback as soon as possible, or are you more or less fine with the feedback? I definitely know that I still also need uh, details com detailed comments uh, for the project, but- Yeah, and I still owe Risha Mm -hmm. comments for his project he and i have discussed it we had it in office hours yesterday but i owe him so still still has to happen mm -hmm. okay well anyone else Liga, for me um i'm not sure i can be the the man mentor of of, of my project proposal. So uh, I'm wondering if, uh, if we can invite uh, a, uh, another one mentor 
uh, there are two mental potential mental mm -hmm. in this project. Uh, I'm yes. I'm for, I'm afraid uh, I can't uh, understand every sentence of from the students like last year. So mm -hmm. I hope uh, uh, in this year I can push this proposal better. Mm -hmm. So uh, currently I am calling for the harp. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, regarding that, um, one of our approach we had a meeting uh, with Chris Kidang. So maybe inviting him would be a good first step. Um, and uh, regarding the rest, I think that we could socialize uh, this uh, proposal because I believe that uh, it will get uh, a lot of interest. So for example, you could just send a message to the developer mailing list saying that, hey, this is a story. We want to achieve that. Uh, we have students applying. We need more mentors. Who is interested? Something like that. Yeah. Because, yeah, this uh, project will definitely have some interest. And for example, what else you could do? There is custom work packaging. So for example, here we could, well, there is not so many watchers. But just putting a plug there that we want to have basically custom work package as a service. Well, it's, it's probably not true, but it could, in principle, it's what we want to achieve there. So just uh, putting the reference to this project here and there could help uh, to attract more contributors. Yes. Or maybe what else you could do. So we have this uh, Docker ZH uh, project. So I think that even in the current state, uh, it already could be, for example, posted as a blog especially on the uh, Chinese version of Jenkins website, but maybe also on the uh, Jenkins IO. And we could also use it uh, for additional promotion of the JSOC project. Yes, uh, I try, I will take your advice and try something. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, anyway, for finding mentors, we still have uh, a lot of time. It's better to start earlier. Uh, but yeah, another side of this question is that we have one week left for finding students. Um, so not uh, all proposals have uh, active students uh, engaging with potential mentors. And if you are looking for more students, uh, definitely try to spend some time and to socialize uh, your project. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, with respect to reviews, I guess the, um, I submitted a proposal for the uh, custom service distribution one. So I guess that is pending some reviews because um, it just um, hasn't enough reviews. I'm not sure whether the reviews that I got are enough. But yeah, um, if that could get, I, I think since Rick isn't. Uh, available to be a mentor this year, maybe that's the reason for the less number of reviews. But uh, if we could get more reviews on that, that would be helpful. Yeah. So if you're also, waiting for feedback and if you don't get that, don't hesitate uh, to ping sometimes. So for example, pinging uh, every few hours is definitely not a, a good idea, but uh, sending a reminder, let's say uh, once per week or now maybe once per two days, taking the time frame is something reasonable. Okay, um, also if I'm happy with the reviews that I've got on my proposal, is it a good idea to just um, hit the submit button as a PDF or should I still wait for another couple of days because um, for the Docker polling proposal, I guess the reviews that I got are enough. Um, so is it a wise decision to just hit the submit button for that particular proposal or should I still wait for additional review? If I recall correctly, you still can edit your proposal after the submit button. Okay. I might be wrong, uh, but uh, from what I've heard uh, over past years, uh, submit button just uh, says that uh, your proposal is submitted and will be reviewed. Draft, uh, if you don't uh, change it to a, a submitted state, it won't uh, be accepted. So it won't even uh, reach uh, our mentoring organization. 
So I think that um, after you submit, you still can edit that. And yes, if you feel it's ready, just feel free to submit. I think you can submit until the deadline over your previous proposal. Mm -hmm. I've heard the same as well. Okay, thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you feel the proposal is in good state, uh, feel free to submit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Uh, the the same mentor problem I think exists for fingerprint storage also as of now. Uh, could I help somewhere in that or? Mm, so, yeah, I'm aware about uh, fingerprint storage. And, uh, I will uh, make sure that it gets fixed uh, during uh, the project selection phase. So, yeah, you, you, I'm already in uh, the discussions with some core maintainers about having this project. And also, we had some mentors from 2019 who were interested. So, yeah, I'm already working on that. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so regarding mentors, yeah, the situation is a bit chaotic uh, nowadays, but yeah, we will do our best to um, uh, get uh, mentor teams formed. And for some uh, pro uh, projects, as we discussed, we can potentially have uh, two students working on uh, the project idea areas, assuming that uh, the projects are aligned uh, between each other. So for example, this is a case for GitHub Checks API. Yes, you have five mentors here. And yeah, so we can potentially scale to two projects. Uh, well, I believe this uh, topic will get a lot of potential mentors if we reach out in the community more, because it's a really important project. And yeah, assuming that everything is submitted, uh, right, we can uh, have two projects there. So, let's see. Anything else for today? Any requests to be addressed? Do we have questions from potential students on the call? Mm -hmm. um, so um, since the proposal um, submissions will be done in a, a week and we'll have a month before the selection are announced, is there anything as potential students that we could do to, uh, I mean, we contribute to the corresponding projects or maybe build proof of concepts or anything? Would that help or would that be in violation of the Google um, conditions that a project shouldn't be completed before its initiation? So I'm not sure. Is that a gray area or what should I do there? Okay. Yeah, let's uh, split it to all parts. Uh, whether you're allowed to contribute, yes, you are. Uh, you are allowed to do anything within the Jenkins any time of the year, regardless of JSOC. We invite uh, any kinds of contributions. Um, if you complete uh, your project uh, during the project selection phase, uh, yeah, it's a bit uh, different situation. And my advice uh, there would be to focus on the discovery phase, on studying, but not on doing the final implementation. Because yeah, if you start uh, doing final implementation uh, in the middle of the application phase, it uh, may cause a lot of complications. Prototypes, yeah, sure. Um, but uh, yeah, just keep it in mind. Yeah, thanks. The, mm -hmm. I would like to add something here. The idea of 
of the Summer of Code program is to work with the developer community, with the community of Jenkins. So if you go off and do all the work in isolation, then it's it's not really in the spirit of the program. Yeah, exactly. I got you. Yeah. So isolation or not, it's a separate topic because yeah, somebody can uh, start working in April, get feedback from maintainers, get things integrated. But so yeah, this question, uh, this topic um, may be a bit orthogonal, but yeah, in general, uh, JSOC is about uh, community experience and it happens on summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. It's, it's very difficult because <laughs> yeah, yeah. nobody wants to say no to someone who's enthusiastic and contributes to the project. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's difficult for us. Yeah, yeah, got it. No, I just wanted to make sure that, uh, I mean, as long as I can contribute to the organization, that would be more than enough. So, yeah, I'll target other areas possibly. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you could, something that's not mm -hmm. part of the Summer of Code program as much is, is documentation. So, we're, it's a, it's a program about writing code. It's not a program about documenting. So if you have time before you start a project, you could work on the, the documentation and explaining how it's going to work and, and explaining like things from the user perspective. Like if you really, really want to contribute something that's not code, you could, you could do that, I suppose. Yeah, that's a really, really interesting suggestion. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, no, sh no shame contributing documentation and no some shame contributing fixes on the newbie friendly issues, right? They're, most of the projects have a newbie friendly issue list. It's a great way to contribute, have good discussions. Yeah, yeah. thanks Mark. Okay, so. Hmm. So one I think which makes sense to mention there is that yeah, we still we will be still doing uh, our evaluation based on the uh, submitted proposals. So yeah, we understand that contributions are done uh, after the submission deadline may cause uh, some bias, and we will try to mitigate that. Uh, but yeah, make sure that uh, you submit everything important in your proposal or specs uh, by the application deadline because before that you can technically keep working on that but it also goes in a kind of uh, gray area so we will be evaluating the proposals submitted uh, of, uh, through the jsoc website the final pdf versions yeah. mm -hmm. okay so if there is nothing else, everybody could get 30 extra minutes to do some reviews of proposals. Um, and, yeah, we could uh, switch to that. So final call for questions. There is a comment in the chat. Oh, yeah, for automatic specification generator, it's also in my queue. So I thought that I provided uh, the request feedback. If not, uh, yeah, I will uh, double check. Thanks. Okay, thank you too. Yeah, sometimes uh, requests uh, got missed uh, because yeah, everybody of us uh, receives uh, hundreds of notifications uh, from different sources. So. Yeah, we may miss something and uh, there is no problem if you send a reminder and ping sometimes, uh, yeah, preferably in public channels, um, but yeah, we are trying to catch up with all these uh, reviews in the queue. Okay, anything else? No. Okay, then uh, thanks everyone. And thanks a lot for joining this meeting. See you again uh, in one week, uh, even if we, uh, so 
yeah, uh, the application deadline is on Tuesday. We'll still uh, run uh, regular office hours, uh, but yeah, for the record, we won't be discussing uh, the application results there, and we won't be discussing and disclosing anything in public until uh, the accepted projects are announced uh, by Google. But if there are questions, for example, technical details or process questions, we can still discuss it uh, during the public meetings. Okay, that's it. So.